Hi guys. Yeah, so um, before I do the next video, I just wanted to um, do a quick setup video of uh, Source for Zwift, um, which is an overlays add-on. Um, I've just added some modifications to it. And there's not a lot of information out there showing you how to do all this. Um, I'm just going to show you how easy it is, basically. Um, you need a Windows PC. This will only run on... Um, Windows it's not for um, Apple I don't believe but yeah there's a there's a really active um, discord on here um, and all the mods can be downloaded or links are all in here there's quite a lot to look through um, but yeah so what I've got is I've downloaded um, two files I downloaded this one twice because I'm an idiot um, Dosen mod is zipped up and Zen Masters mods and you can add as many as you like basically all you will need to do is is unzip these into this folder which is called source mods and it's in your documents folder once you've install, installed source you should have that folder all automatically created and literally just drop them in there then when you're in Zwift um, which incidentally I'm also running via this um, borderless gaming um, app because I believe you have to run Zwift in windowed mode and then run the borderless gaming add-on so that the overlays work um, I'm actually in yeah so it's not turned on yet so once you've got a source for Zwift downloading set up um, and added your mods will load eventually hopefully there it goes it's loading up all the overlays um, yeah once you've got it all up, up once you've got it all um, set up um, and I should say first of all you do need to um, sign up for another Zwift account because what it actually does is it actually just uses the watching view so it just it just it doesn't actually ride any miles or anything it just uses the account to log in and look at you from a third party third person perspective if you know what I mean so with the overlays I'm still sort of experimenting so I'm going to use it in conjunction with um, Zwift's own hub um, but I may may just turn off the hub and use just source ex exclusively but yeah so in the in this top bar you've got settings and in here you can decide how many windows you want or what windows you want open how many windows you want on a particular profile so I've got two profiles at the moment the one basic one which was um, just um, <coughs> let's uh, activate that see if it works I can show you which is basically as it comes um, I think I've changed a couple of things and I've got a gauge there which shows the uh, wattage and a gauge here which shows the, the uh, draft which is um, which is really useful uh, and then the top bar um, which I've set up to give me um, ride-ons, average speed, normalised power for the ride and uh, me W bow which is like your um, remaining um, uh, energy in the tank. The other one I've got is this groups window which is much better than the, um, well you don't get it with uh, Zwift as standards, that's, that's a really good add-on as well. Uh, but what I've done is I've, I've activated and made a new profile and I've activated some of the mods. I'm going to switch to that one. And I'm going to see how that goes once I set up a ride. Because what I've got is I've got a profile window which will give me the the um the profile of the route I'm on. I did set this one up. So you you, you right click on them and then you get the settings window for each individual uh, window. Um, gradient settings. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why that's so big actually. I'm just going to resize the window, put it there. But yeah, there's literally infinite possibilities with this um, with this setup. Now I'm not sure how I'll get back to this. You can see it is a bit. How do I get back to this now? Right click, right click. Let's minimise that so I can get back to this. Right, okay. Yeah, 
So I've got that activated. Um, is it showing me? Yeah, it is open. So the way to the way to cycle through these active windows is just use the Alt and Tab button on your keyboard, and then you, it, you can either put them behind or in front, which you may or may not need to do to actually click other things that are on the screen. So there is that to bear in mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a route now, and actually I don't want that one open, don't I? map resource I don't actually want to use that map so I'm just going to close that one and I'm going to do route today along the go one which I've not done before not at all far and nice uh, I'm going to do 90 minutes plus mountain route a little bit less elevation yeah, let's do this big loop. Not done it before. Uh, where does it go? Big climb. I think we're doing epic KOM on this, is it? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's do this. And, um, <clears throat> and then we'll see how it loads up. Um, is the elevation window on? Right, so let's go settings. Windows map is closed, so let's. Oh, that's a map. Oh, right click. Yeah, so that's going over the. You can have that instead of the standard map. Um, that's quite interesting. I can close that for the time being, though. And where is my. Okay, I think I've hidden it. Hidden it. Root profile segments. It's a big window. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So I've got that quite big. So you might want to reshape this depending on what route you're actually doing. Uh, no, let's downsize it. Keep it there and that's a bit better I think. We've got the chats window open which is better than the uh, Zwift one. Um, do I really want that open? No because I don't know anyone on this. It's got the segments. Um, yeah, so when that segments window comes up that is going to sort of interfere with my translucent window here. Um, again, I'll show, we'll have a look at this after because this is I've got this set up to show percentage in zone, which is what I use when I'm out on the bike, which is quite good if you're trying to stay in a particular zone, like just do a zone two ride, for example. And this is the graph, which Zwift will show along the bottom of the screen, but I've just got a little mini one here. So uh, yeah, I'll pause the video and I'll just maybe do the ride and then get a few more screenshots, maybe. Uh, yeah, but it's it's easier than you think to set up um, source. It, but it is there is so much you can do with it. It can look quite daunting, but yeah, definitely worth it because it is the the, the uh, draft window in particular, which actually I'm just going to add. Show that do that. So I want to add a gauge, and I want it to be a draft gauge, and I'm just going to click create, and there it is. I'm going to right click it, click settings. I want it to use this semi um, transparent theme you can adjust that and adjust it to that there and close that and actually I think I normally have that uh, more transparent but anyway let's just resize it down and move it over to there That looks okay. Um, I, I sometimes I put a power gauge in as well as this power, but yeah, mate, let's just do that as well. It's quite nice. Power gauge. Create. Right click. Settings. Theme override. Uh, semi. Make it 
totally transparent apart from the gauge there's that uh, right click it so we can move it put it up there let me size it down to a decent uh, size put it there next to the uh, power up thing let's see if we resize that one get that same size I should put that one now I'm hoping that will give me more um, details on the um, gradient because you can actually get a decimal place so if you're doing sort of 2.8 or 2.5 you'll, you'll know it rather than it just saying 2% or 3% which I think is quite useful so as you can see I'm, I'm learning with this but it isn't isn't that difficult um, you can change these transparent backgrounds to have solid backgrounds do whatever you like with this it's just literally um, endless options but I think I might stick with that one for the time being um, and just test it out on this ride and then see, see how I go with it hopefully I'm going to have a better setup for the uh, start of the uh, ZRL or my next race so yeah I hope that's um, provided useful in some regard uh, sorry for bundling my way through it but there we go okay um yeah just to update just in the 20 minutes into this ride using the new overlays a couple of things i noticed so the um profile a uh, root profile mod which i've got on the bottom of the screen that is really really like that it's really useful you might have to adjust it depending on how hilly the route is i've just moved it so i've got it butted right up against the bottom it doesn't really interfere with sort of my uh, my vision uh on the ride i got rid of the um gradient standalone gradient um overlay because i'm, I'm getting a constant gradient in the uh top right of the profile one at the bottom there which gives me the decimal point which as you can see gives you much better information than the uh, Zwift info at the top right it gives you the exact gradient so that's quite useful uh, also it gives you the um, distance to the next uh, segment so it tells me I'm 30 kilometers away from Titans Grove KOM again so that's quite good um, I've got a mini sort of root elevation profile in the just uh, in the watching window on the left as well and uh, that one will probably turn off because I just don't that's the point in that but you could have a small one there if you didn't want the if you didn't want the in, individual one somewhere else um, the other point to note on that is I've turned off the other riders on the bottom one you can have the other pins which are like grey pins on it shows you where everyone else is I thought that was a bit yeah I just thought I'd keep it clean um, the other ones on the uh, watching window on the left I've got activated is the zones which I've got to keep it above 150 um, yeah it's the zones window which yeah I think that's really useful I have a screen set up that up my uh, hammerhead for my training rides so that's really useful the graph at the bottom just to explain what that's showing I had to figure it out so run along the blue is your power the green is your cadence and the red is your heart rate um, I don't know oh and it also gives you your peak power within that ride or within that that section that's, that's uh, viewable um, yeah I mean that's uh, maybe that's a bit of a gimmick I'm not sure what I'm not sure what I'll get from that to be honest but yeah so I might disable that one as well uh, the other changes I've made to this recently from the stock uh, groups window on the right where it shows PR that's uh, that's me obviously um, I changed that to show you can show as many groups 
in front or behind. Now I've set that to default to five in front and two behind. And that wasn't the stock, I think was three in front, two behind, something like that. But what I found in races was that if there was people dropping off the peloton, it would quickly fill that up and I wouldn't be able to see at a glance how far away the peloton was. I mean, that's probably a pointless metric anyway, because I'm never catching them, but um, yeah, just it was nice to see how far they'd got away. Especially if, especially if there is a chance, if it's more riders have dropped off than are still in it, and there is a chance of, of a bigger group coming back to them in the future. So yeah, uh, I changed that to five groups in front, just so that it gives me a longer field of viewing of the groups up the road. There is another um, window you can set up, which I've not looked into yet, which will give you the, the actual metrics of the riders within your group that you're riding with. So you can have that set up. You can click on it, but oh, I'm not using a mouse while I'm in a race. And that'll give you the zoomed view like that. And, that, and you can see it gives you how much draft each rider's getting and what, what age they're pushing. Now I'm not using a race as I say, we're in the middle of a race so I don't really use that but there is another window you can set up to have that sort of information displayed permanently I think along with maybe other metrics like their weight and things like that which might be quite useful to you uh, in a race situation. So yeah. Definitely worth worth using I think it's just such a good such a good add-on and um, the other thing I mentioned with uh, source so it is a paid add-on I think it's only about two quid a month to pay but it, so I think it's worth it but the other thing as I say it's going to mention is you don't just get source uh, add-on for Zwift you get source add-on for Strava which is a web browser add-on and uh, that's probably for another video but that is really good as well. I really like that. It gives you a lot of training metrics, look. Sort of thing you'd pay to get from training peaks. You get included within this um, add-on. Yes, that's, that's another little bonus. Okay, so next video I'll probably be racing. I might have adjusted the overlays again a little bit more. All right, cheers. Any questions, let me know.